Hi everyone, I'm Ryan with That Shabby Guy, and today I'm in Boca Raton, Florida. I'll cut straight to the point. For years, I've had issues with my teeth. Um, I have a lot of cavities in my smile line here when I smile, um, which is one of the reasons why I don't get in front of the camera a lot for YouTube or any other social media. Um, to top it off, I have a lot of cavities and teeth that need root canals. There's some broken teeth down here and back there. And then there's my smile. And the reason I'm showing you this is because why I'm here in Florida is to have this all fixed. All of this has caused me to worry about my image. I've lost confidence in myself. And to be honest, I'm in a lot of pain pretty much all the time. It's pretty much why I don't get in front of the camera and why I don't smile a lot of the time. And when I do smile, I have to hide my smile instead of giving you my natural smile. My teeth have never been perfect. I've never really been worried about them being a little crooked, but with cavities and everything and bad breath, infections, for me, it's the worst physical and mental pain that you can have to deal with. <sighs> so that's why I'm here. The reason I've come to Florida to take care of this is because there's a wonderful practice down here called Done in One that specializes in full arch replacements, top and bottom. So I'll be getting full dental implants this week, in one week. I may not look like the typical candidate for someone who needs dentures or their teeth replaced, but coupled with my fear of going to the dentist, and the fact that the current damage I have is gonna cost me fifteen, twenty thousand dollars multiple dentist visits throughout the next few years, and then several visits for the rest of my life every year, which I feel like I will probably procrastinate on. This is just going to get worse. I'll need teeth pulled. If I was to go to a dentist just to save this one tooth that has an infection in a cavity, it would be three thousand dollars and three visits. I don't see that happening for me. I am nervous about getting this all done. But yesterday when I arrived, I spoke to the doctor, several staff members. Everybody is great. They know what they're doing. They do this procedure every day, several times a day. This is what they specialize in. It's like you dropping your furniture off with me and trusting it in my hands. Um, I'm ready to get this done. So, this is day one, flew in yesterday, got acquainted with the dentist, they set me up in this great hotel that's not too far. Here in about 30 minutes, their driver is going to be here to pick me up, take me to their office, and start with the procedure. So this is day one. I'm going to record as much as I can throughout the whole thing. I won't be able to record the procedure. This isn't like other implant procedures where you go in and you have to go back home for a month or two and have dentures in. We're going to get this taken care of today. Tomorrow I'll go in and put some fitting teeth in. And then for, throughout the next three days while I'm healing, they're going to be 3D printing teeth for me to try in to make sure I like them before I go home. So super cool. Um, I just need to get these first few days out of the way and then I think I'll be good. So, that's it. I will, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to have any teeth next time you see me. Oh, God. I really don't have anything left to say. Um, I don't want to say anything about the procedure until I've got it done. They've told me... Um, what's going to happen and everything. I know what's going to happen, but I'd rather um, I want to wait and talk about it later on once I've experienced it. So um, I'm going to go get this done. Real quick before I go, I want to show you all this little gift bag that they gave me when I arrived. And sorry, the lighting is a little crummy in here, so I'm doing this on the floor so we can see what's in here. Um, this is kind of like a little care package, I guess, for after you get your operation done. So, we've got a 
brand new water pick for me for when I get my new teeth in so I can have some good dental hygiene. It's great. Wow, we got a Yeti mug. That's going to be nice. We got the Done in One logo on there. Fancy. So we got, got some koozies. No beer though. Just water this time. Just a little bit of water. A couple koozies. Some protein shakes. I will have to be on a soft diet for up to 90 days. Thank you. Personal handwritten note. It's not even printed. Look at that. That's great. Everyone is super, super nice. And go back to my, uh, the diet thing. I hit Walmart last night and it's just a bunch of soft stuff to eat. We got some instant mashed potatoes. Got some peaches that I'm gonna eat with some cottage cheese. Got some macaroni. What is this? Pancake in a cup. Got some more pancake in a cup. Sorry for my sniffling, man. I just been crying all emotional. <laughs> but we got some ramens, all sorts of ramens, and some soups, and then I've got a few things in the fridge. But um, I guess that's it for right now. Let's get let's get going. I'm ready to get going and get out of here and get this thing done. All right, I got my little bag of stuff that I need to take with me. It's, 6.30 in the morning. I'm gonna go have me a little small breakfast real quick so I have something in my stomach for my medication. And then the driver will be here. So now I just have to wait on my ride to get here. If you come in out of town to do this procedure, they have a concierge service that comes and picks you up from your hotel. So that's pretty nice to have, um, especially since I'm about to be drugged up and loopy. I believe the procedure only takes about two hours and I'm not going to remember any of it. And um, they'll bring me back here to the hotel by 9 or 10 a.m. and it'll be it'll be sleeping time. I also brought my computer so I can play video games and do any editing and stuff I might need to do. I have no idea what I'm going to feel like the next few days. Um, but we'll see. Just wait for my driver to get here and we're going to rock and roll. While I'm waiting, I've got instruction to take this medication here. This is this is going to be the medication that knocks me out for the extraction procedure. They told me to take it an hour before my appointment, um, but I was also told it was better to take it right right when your ride arrives. So I'm not just in case he's running behind. I'm not loopy. Um, he should be here soon, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this guy. The ride has begun. Here comes my ride. How you doing this morning? Doing good. Wow. It's nice in here. Yeah. Woo! Just me. You got everything you need, all your forms, everything? Um, yeah, as far as I know, I got my forms, I brought my medication. Perfect. Brought a jacket, some right. water. Sounds good. All right. All right, we'll Thank get over you. Woohoo, look at this. Wow. So this is their own private shuttle that they pick you up with to take you to their appointments, bring you back to your hotel and all that. I thought it was just gonna be like a 15 passenger van, but they, no way, I'm surprised there's no, no wine and champagne bottles in here. This is super nice.
So when they take your teeth out, um, they don't do full sedation. They take Halcyon, and I've never taken it before, but apparently um, I'm going to be kind of loopy or knocked out or whatever. So I took that about 10 minutes ago, and it's supposed to take 15 to 30 minutes to kick in. So if I can, I'll record what I can for the people that are curious about that. Um, we'll, we'll see what happens. My surgery is scheduled for 7 a.m. and it is, it is 6.50 right now, so I don't know. We'll see, we'll see what happens. The lighting in the hotel wasn't that great, so I wanted to kind of show you my smile here in the light. You know, this is what I, I'm always trying to hide, mostly this side here. If you notice when I do my live streams, I have my webcam up at an angle like this with my TV in front of me like this so that when I smile, it kind of hides it, right? But it's something that I have to constantly think about. It's so annoying. Um, but and other than those, we've got these down here and back. And it's, it's mostly this here, and these over here, and up here. But my face is just in pain all the time. And eating, I mean, eat something crunchy, and it's like you can't just bite into it. It's like, I just barely bite into it. And then if something gets in these holes in these cavities in your shoe, it's game over, you know, it's terrible. So I just wanted to get that out of the way and show you what everything looked like before I'm unable to. So. We're heading down. <laughs> that was really awesome. Everything went great. I feel good. We're going to the hotel and get to sleep. And I'll see you all tomorrow.
Here we go. Just like that. Nine o'clock. Two hours. Uh, I don't look that great, but <laughs> you just gotta let it feel. And, uh, Well, that heal. And I'll keep all up there. I'm going to take some pain medication. And I'm going to sleep. Well, later. All right. It's 10 o'clock p.m. Still day one. Obviously, I've had my teeth removed. <laughs> if I was ever self-conscious about smiling in front of the camera it's so weird that i don't mind doing it now but the reason is is because i know this is all getting fixed i don't mind doing this um i want to show my experience i think when i when i got to the doctor's office this morning i recorded a little bit showed my teeth to y'all and i um, mentioned that i had taken halcyon so i guess it's a sedative or it's kind of comparable to Xanax I think from what I've read the last thing I recorded whenever I was at the doctor's office was showing my teeth um, in better light for y'all and I had taken the Halcyon uh, it had been in my system about 10 or 15 minutes and about 10 minutes after that they came in and uh, to call me back for my surgery and when I stood up uh, it, it had kicked in so um, but there's no sedation. They're, you're awake the whole time. They said a lot of people don't remember it or don't recall it, but I was, I was conscious the whole time. And, and under normal circumstances, that would have been an issue, but um, with that medication is like Xanax on steroids or something. Uh, I, I remember everything. I remember hearing my teeth getting pulled and everything that they said, and, but I was also falling asleep at the same time. Uh, in and out in two hours. And what I don't remember is recording some of the footage on the way back. So, um, when, when I got back to the hotel, I had said that my pain was about a three. I would call it, I've been saying now in between three and four, somewhere around there, probably closer to a four when I first got back. Um, and that's what the local anesthesia is still, still in effect. Of course, they did do local anesthesia shots um, when they were moving the teeth. Uh, after about four hours, my pain level went up to about a seven. Um, that was with the local anesthesia wearing off. So I started taking more of my, my pain medication and um, I was able to get some good sleep until about 6 p.m. and I uh, woke up. My pain level is uh, was at a two and it's still at a two, but I am on, again, I'm on pain medication. If I feel the pain starting to pick up, then I'll adjust it with pain medication. But as far as the pain goes the the worst of it was just this afternoon um before i had managed to get enough medication in me to manage the pain the pain though isn't like dental pain so it's not that big of a deal um compared i'm actually in less pain and feeling relief now compared to how i felt before the surgery with my with my dental pain because all of my teeth are gone um and so what they did is they removed each tooth um, and then I believe they cut along the gum line. I'll show you this in a minute in here. And uh, they needed to, I guess, expose bone in there so that everything sits down correctly. So it's pretty gnarly looking in there. Um, and then they screwed the four posts in, top and bottom. And if you see the little white things in my mouth, those are like safety caps going over the top. Um, while while it's healing up, and then he sutured my my gums closed and around the post and everything like that, and then, and then they 
stuffed gauze in my mouth and brought me back to the hotel. And then, again, since I woke up, like I said, my pain level has been very manageable. I'm going to take a look around the hotel. I've got my computer set up. I've been on there, and i got some laundry done. i got my clothes ready for tomorrow. <laughs> i got... You know, I'm just laying in bed because I'm lazy. It's not because I'm feeling bad. i got my food set up for when I can or when I feel ready to start eating and like like I said I'm overall I'm feeling great feeling better than I did with my with my dental pain let me go go into the bathroom with better lighting and for those of you that are curious what it looks like in there this is your chance and those of you that don't want to see it you've got about five seconds before I show you you can skip ahead or whatever, turn your head. But, so, oh my god. How you doing guys? That shabby guy here. Today I'm gonna to show you how to paint some furniture. This is what it looks like in here. So you can see the post right here. And then, See, I got some bruising and stuff. The swelling has gone down a lot. I was really swollen. Um, keeping a cold compress on it really helps. And uh, the ibuprofen helps. Uh, that's about it. I guess this is what I would look like if I was a, a drug addict. Or a, a preview of what I look like as an old man without teeth. Me and my mashed potatoes. But, um, I guess the reason I'm showing this is because my, my take on things is how I was, you know, scared to go to the dentist. Um, my fear of going to the dentist. And, um, I just want to show you all that it's, this is not that bad. It's, if you're cases like me where you're in pain all the time um at this point at this point i feel better than i did before like i've said several times tomorrow i have an appointment at 10 a.m to get my teeth fitted so while i've been sleeping today and overnight they're 3d printing my temporary teeth to go in that they based off of um, the 3D modeling that they did during the surgery. That's another thing they did. Took all the teeth out. They uh, had machinery that models your mouth and they try to 3D print something that's going to be as close as possible without, you know, having your actual opinion to what it's going to look like and feel like and, and everything. So I'll get those fitted in tomorrow and then I believe I'll have, I'll have teeth tomorrow. It won't be permanent. It'll just be 3D printed. $10 teeth and and then we'll just kind of rinse repeat that throughout the next few days until I find the the, the teeth that I'm happy with and after that they'll make the zirconia teeth and I'll be ready to go home so for some people this procedure can take three four or five days because they get their teeth in and maybe it only takes two two tries and they're, and they're happy with their teeth and uh, for other people, it, it can be a week. So uh, I'm going to be staying a week just so I get the full experience and, and all that. They got me set up in this nice hotel. Um, so that's, that's what's planned for tomorrow. Uh, I don't think it's going to take that long. And I'll, I'll be back here in the hotel watching TV and playing video games. I, got, I brought my computer on the airplane. <laughs> I knew I, I wouldn't be able to stand not having it. Plus, that allows me to edit this video and stuff while I'm here. But um, that's about it. I I made a post on Facebook to let everybody know what's going on because I want people to be filled in from the beginning. And uh, I was not <laughs> expecting the replies that I got and the response that I got. You know, I really appreciate it that... Uh, 
so many people are out there waiting on me and kind of cheering me on or whatever, but, um, you know, thank, thank y'all. So that's it for day one. I'll update y'all tomorrow. And, um, shoot, I'm excited to see what it looks like to have some teeth in my mouth. Some normal straight teeth, too. I've never had straight teeth, ever. So, it's kind of cool. I hadn't even thought about that, really. So. All right. Thank y'all. Day two, coming tomorrow. Bye.